free crypto tools that I use on a daily basis as a lazy crypto investor. And you can too. In this video, I'm going to break down a list of 15 or so of my favorite tools that I use on a daily basis. I'm going to teach you how to use them and how you can understand more about crypto by the end of this video than almost anyone else out there in the entire world crypto space. This is going to be the most powerful and useful video I have ever made. Make sure you hit that like button and let's get into today's video. Now guys, if you're subscribed, then maybe you're going to see some tools that you've probably already been using because hopefully I've taught you how to use them. My aim as always is to teach you to fish so that you can eat for a lifetime and not just swallow the crap that's being fed to you on a daily basis across most of YouTube. Therefore, if you want to hear about something different, then make sure you subscribe. Now, first things first, most of you out there are probably getting your information about different crypto projects from YouTube. And I see people being like, get on with it. Stop yapping, blah, blah, blah. Fair enough. OK, I don't have time to waste watching YouTube videos much either. So this is what we're going to do. This is one of my favorite YouTubers out there, Virtual Bacon. Dennis has some really interesting and useful insight, but this video he's made recently is 44 minutes long. I don't have time for that. So what I'm gonna do is go to glasp.co, download this extension. You can do it on Chrome, you can do it on Safari. Now, once you've downloaded it, you can go back, refresh your browser, and start watching a couple of videos. Now, I'm just gonna pause it here. You can see that what we've got here is now this transcript and summary plugin, which is the extension on Glass. I drop it down and you see that it's going to give me the generated all of the text that Dennis has talked about throughout this 45 minutes. I can copy this transcript and I can go to Claude.ai, the next best tool, or the second best tool in my arsenal. This you can see I've pasted it in here. And I've said, summarize the key points. It's now given me eight points. This is going to take me a minute to read of what he was talking about in that entire video. So yes, I'm going to miss maybe a couple of bits and pieces, right? But ultimately, I've got all the key knowledge and value and it saved me 44 minutes. He says here, like a crash is unlikely after the halving because we won't see volatility for around two or three weeks. He's going to share all his full knowledge with us. So on to the next one and one you've probably all seen before. And it's a very useful tool. I like to keep an eye on what's going on on a daily basis, but I'm not looking to just see what my coins are doing. I'm looking to see what the general trend of the coins is right now, because I am always keeping my eye on the different narratives. And if you watched my video yesterday, where I was talking about the BRC20 and Ordinals narrative, you will see it's very evident here because we've got Ordinals pumping, we've got Sats pumping, we've got various other BRC20 type tokens pumping. Okay, so a coin's popped up here. I don't know much about it. It's called Venom. I can click on it and I can see something interesting. I can go to Coin Market Cap from here. And this is another really useful tool that many people were not using properly. How many times I make a video talking about a coin and people are like, where do I buy it? Guys, this is Venom. Okay, let's go down. What we can see here is Market Cap. Important, if I'm expecting 100x, this has to do a hundred billion dollar market cap, which is massive. It's probably unlikely. Okay. So we can come down below. We can see all the links and things like that. If I want to buy this coin after understanding what it is, I can see Venom markets. You can see all of the different exchanges that are listed here. If I want to find centralized exchanges, I click sex. If I want to find a decentralized exchanges, I click Dex. And what I want to check is that the volume on the last 24 hours is pretty high. These ones, 4 million, 4 million, etc. pretty good. Gate IO, $6,700. I don't want to buy Venom, a billion dollar coin, on an exchange of that size. Easy peasy, right? You can then use this search bar, search for all sorts of different other coins. Here's another one, Auto Nolas or Olas. As you come down through, you can see some other links and bits and pieces. And as well as that, at the bottom, you've got all the other different exchanges. Now, what I want to do here is just click on a white paper. Now, many people out there have never, ever read a white paper. And I don't blame you. They are lengthy. They're boring. And I have no time to read them myself. But there's a very easy way to cut this corner. Because look at this. This is a white paper for a fairly complex AI project called Autonolas. And obviously, you don't have time to read through that. And even if you did, if you're new to crypto, it might be pretty mind blowing. So what we're going to do is just download it.
Now, Claude is going to go away and analyze this work paper. He's going to give you all of the key points, the benefits, the cons of all of this particular project. And if you do this with a handful of projects, you're going to start to understand what an expert crypto investor is looking for because Claude is taking this information as an expert and is looking through the key things that you should be looking for and the key things you should be aware of. Now you can see it's giving us this whole summary. And also I want you to use this as an opportunity to learn something, okay? So not just to read through and be like, okay, I don't really understand that. You can say, hey, you've been talking about DAOs. What's a DAO? And he's gonna tell you all of this, okay? Use the opportunity to ask questions. What's a DAO? Decentralized Autonomous Organization. What does that mean? And you can use this and you can become very quickly a bit of an expert. You're gonna see here, the cons that we should be paying attention to. It's going to require strong execution and good ecosystem growth. Okay, good to know. How is it going to be growing its ecosystem? What's it implementing right now to grow its ecosystem? Other things, no proven track record. It's a new protocol. Story of pretty much every crypto, to be honest. But that's what separates a really good crypto from another one. Like lots of people are really hyped about this project and that project. But if they're not doing anything right now, then also that's a big concern. Fairly complex architecture, tokenomics. Okay, so you've got lots of information. And I use Claude rather than ChatGPT because Claude seems to have more current knowledge of the market and what's going on in crypto and also is not afraid to give you their opinion on whether or not, you know, it would be a good investment or not. For example, giving you the idea that it might be good for a different capability. Also, it's complex. Basically, what it tells me here is that it wouldn't be really interested in investing in this. While it sounds interesting, it's high risk, uh, but it's very speculative. Okay, so useful okay so what else is cool about coin market cap well you've got the different trending sections going on here and what we want to do is hit the seven days see the biggest gainers from the last seven days things like theta fuel graph link chain etc okay so next up we've got graph link chain just have a look now imagine we've already looked at the white paper what else do we want to take a look at we want to see what the twitter's looking like now, Twitter is one of the most powerful tools across crypto. And while you're at it, you might as well give me a follow on Twitter. It's linked down below, guys. House of Crypto 3, okay, is my Twitter handle. And every day we're kind of updating different stories of different things that are going on, updating new projects that are worth paying attention to, ones that I haven't yet maybe covered on YouTube that I will get around to. Uh, and definitely worth giving me a follow over on Twitter. Absolutely free. But let's look at Graphlink. Now, what is it in a Twitter page? Remember, to find a successful crypto project that's going to do well, we want to know if it's got a good following. Who's it followed by? Whether it's starting to trend. We're going to copy this code under here, copy. We're then going to go across to the next website, which is called, we're then going to go across to this website, twitterscore.io, free tool. We're going to paste it in here, okay? And I know this might seem a bit jumbled up and high paced or whatever, Guys, it's really worth investing a bit of time in understanding this. Okay, if you have to watch it a couple of times, watch it a couple of times. Now what I can see, graph link, okay, Twitter score up here, not doing badly. What I like to see though, is it's growing in terms of followers. Look at the follower growth. That's really important. We can see that the influencers who are following it, pretty key to see some big influencers starting to follow this one. You can see they're being followed by certain venture capital projects. This gives me a good idea that graph link might be an interesting project from the ecosystem side few things we must pay attention to the ecosystem who is coming and following them we need people to buy it people to learn about it if people are buying it and learning about it the price will go up what else makes for a successful project well who is it backed by who are the investors who backed the project which brings me on to another very useful tool which is crypto fundraising.info before projects go live they have fundraising fed into them and it's important to pay attention to the key investors if you have a few of these big names behind a project, there's a very good chance that project will do well. Even if you're not researching them, they've got some of these big names on them, you're probably gonna do all right. These are pretty much ranked in terms of the importance of the names and things like that. You've got Animoca Brands up there, Coinbase, of course, A16Z. These companies are putting billions of dollars into new crypto projects, GSR, Binance Labs. You see names like this backing projects, they're not gonna do too badly, okay? That's not financial advice, but they're not gonna do too badly. You can also see who's been raising money recently and it might be worth learning about different projects here. But I recommend always coming across when you found new projects, coming to crypto fundraising and see who's backing them. OK, see how much money they raised, see which rounds those people raise money in. And we will show you another website slightly later on, which you can use to do this as well. GPU.net, a very popular project that people are talking about a lot right now. 
as well as that, projects like Aether, one of the most hyped and exciting projects available right now. And we will be raising a million dollars on the 20th of April in the inner circle for that. So if you want to access a pre-sale, which will be at a significant discount on Aether before it goes live next month, then guys, get into the inner circle, link down below. Not only that, you'll also access trading signals. You'll also gain access to wallet tracking, live chat with other community members around the world, and so many other things. We don't just have Aether pre-sale, but we actually have access to multiple pre-sales every single week. We had Gaming the other day that did a 20X on launch and so many others. So get in the inner circle, link down below, no brainer. So on the subject of Twitter, it's really important to pay attention to where the trend is going, okay? Because where the attention goes, money flows. Probably heard that one before. And this is really important because if we can keep an eye on where the attention's about to go, then we can get on to the next best thing. Now, if we look into the categories, we can go down to cryptocurrencies. And what Luna Crush does is it analyzes the data for all of these different projects. And what it's doing is it's noting the amount of interactions, the amount of creators who are posting about certain projects. And that gives us huge insight. You can see Audi up here, or Ords Labs, okay, which is one I mentioned yesterday. You can see it's now growing very quickly. And the price will ultimately follow with all of this interaction and all of this excitement. You've got Jasmine coin up here for some unknown reason, okay, getting huge amounts of hype and excitement. Various others that are climbing up, Theta Fuel. You can keep a track on cryptocurrencies of the alt rank. As people are going up and down, you can pay attention as to whether or not it might be a good time to get in. Okay, so for example, before we saw Casper really high up in the end of last year. It started to die off as the price fell. Now we can start seeing it climb again. Maybe we are just ready to see Casper start to get on the move again. I don't know if this is free or not. I think it might be like paid and there might be a paid version, which is a little bit more expensive but I think you can access this part for free. So let's just click on one and let's see Audi, for example, what more information we can get. So we get all the prices and all that stuff. I can click on like the interactions. I can see when the interactions are spiking. I can click on the number of creators covering it. If I go down below, I can see the top creators who have been talking about this coin. And people have been asking me like, who do you follow on Twitter? How do I know how to follow? Well, say, you know, you get a coin that suddenly becomes successful. Maybe it's worth finding a couple of these people and see when they started to tweet about these particular coins. Maybe Gem Insider here maybe made the calls on this coin like weeks ago before it started to pop off and become an exciting thing. Then maybe you find someone good on Twitter to follow, okay? Which is really handy. So Luna Crush, to be honest, is one of my favorites. Okay, next along, DeFi Llama. A bit more complex, okay? but kind of useful. If you're looking into DeFi projects and things like that, one of the biggest metrics and most important metrics is TVL or total value locked. So what you can do uh, is you can look at an overview. You can go and see the different like chains and different coins. So for Solana, for example, people are like, oh, well, Solana has been really overpriced recently. You might think that, but then you see like the TVL ramping up and then you see, well, yeah, the Solana price is nearly at all-time highs or previous all-time highs, but its TVL is nowhere near what it was in the last top of the bull market, which tells me that Solana's still got a lot of way to go. We can then see all of the coins in the ecosystem on Solana. If they're all starting to grow and doing well and increasing the amounts of fees, then it's likely that Solana will continue to do well. If you're into like things like yield farming, you can use DeFiLlama.com, but it is a slightly more complex, more difficult to use one. One thing as well, we did talk about the importance of fundraising and keeping your finger on that pulse. If you click on fundraising and overview, you can see all the amount of money that gets raised at different periods. Look at the top of the last bull market, $7 billion. When you start seeing a $7 billion being raised in this bull market, it's probably time to start selling everything, okay? Because this is when the top of the market arrives. You can see all the different projects that have been raising down below. You see the different chains and all the different things uh, if you want to go really into the rabbit hole. Now, here's another cool website, probably one that's better than CoinMarketCap. And I like to use CryptoRank.io because it has all of these different coins here, but it also has better information. Now, I recently made a video two days ago, I believe three days ago, talking about how to get into new projects that have just launched because that's where I saw basically lots of growth and excitement. So for example, you would come to IDEO ICO and click on upcoming. This tells me all the projects that are about to launch uh, that haven't yet launched. And this is really cool because I can find out how much money they've raised. I can find out the launch pad they're going live on. Maybe I can find out what they're all about before they go live. But actually what I like to do is to look at past IDEOs because once we see big pumps, they tend to have a bit of a dump towards the downside and that gives us good entries. 
Now you can come through and can get into some of these big projects that people have been raving about more recently. And you can look, like see the launch pads. We've got this one here, Bybit, total raise 2.3 million called Bonus Block. Now clicking on bonus block, I can come down below and I can see all the money that they've raised at different periods of time. And I can check, are they raising money from decent uh, exchanges and things like that? They're raising money from Gate.io, that's important. Uh, they're launching on various different launch pads. They're on Bybit, that's a big name. Okay, so this project's now caught my attention. I can then come over to the Twitter. I can see it's followed by the likes of Virtual Bacon and a handful of others that I follow. Uh, I can go and find out from the website what's this all about. I can put it into the Twitter score. Is it growing? Is it going down? Showcase your on-chain value, get acquired by projects, earn bonus fees. Interesting, okay? So this is now what a, what a suitable project, okay? So it's basically saying, well, you can use all the information uh, that you're learning and talking about in your different projects, uh, and you can use it to feed back into the ecosystem and you can get rewarded for your crypto research in bonus fee tokens. Okay, that's very, very cool indeed. 1.6 million users already, 20,000 fees generated. Okay, this project started to catch my eye because it's got lots of people interested in this particular one. See, it's featured in various different places. I can find out in more depth what it is using the different tools. We can see all of the different chains and ecosystems that exists on. We can see who the backers are. Some big names in crypto backing this project. Awesome. Okay, so we've got lots of different things to pay attention to with bonus block now let's say i want to see what bonus blocks all about is it a good time to enter i don't know well i can come across to tradingview.com okay which is a free website and lots of you will be looking at this being like oh that looks like a horrible chart and actually that's probably wrong when new projects launch that have a lot of hype and excitement and attention they tend to rally like this or appear to rally like this but actually that rally that happens here, which let me show you, happened on Planet Mojo here, happened on R Games, so it hasn't pulled back quite as aggressively, happened on Zeus, happened on Venom. It's because VCs that we've been looking at are all buying in down here, okay? They will then tend to pull back into a nice zone. Once they start to put in a zone like this, then we get a good opportunity to enter. So all you're really looking for is projects that have good backers, decent names about them that are starting to put in a bottom okay well potentially bonus block hasn't yet hit the bottom okay but what i can do is i can put in green boxes in areas like this if i see bonus block then pump quite hard out of here and come back to this zone then i've got a good buying opportunity okay i'm looking to see whether or not people want to buy in here what it looks like people will buy get big bounces like here with bfi okay you can see when it's getting in this zone, it's getting bought up quickly, okay? When it's getting in there, you have a buy zone ready. You can add all your different coins. You can see whether or not it's a good time to get in. Coins like Mojo, Planet Mojo. This to me does, to be honest, look like quite a good entry on a coin that I know is backed by some of the biggest names in crypto. After this initial sell-off, which is healthy, it looks pretty good. And I know you've got this far and you're like, well, it's really complex. There's so many different coins. I still don't know where to look. Let me make it very much more simple for you and shrink it down so that you only have to look at the very best. Here's Graphlink, okay? It's been doing well the last seven days or so. Seven days, been up like 30%. Over the last month, you know, up and down, but people have been making money. In the last year, it's up like 1100%. So this is a good example of a coin that's been doing well. Don't go and buy it, okay? But we want to find people who have bought it and done well. Copy this Ethereum code. Now, go to June.com, and I know lots of you have probably seen this before, but it's so powerful and so useful. Type in token analyzer. Go to not token analyzer by Moki. Go to this second one by Dom99. Now, we're going to paste in that Ethereum address, which we just found, okay? We know it's Ethereum because it said Ethereum. What we're going to do is make sure it says Ethereum, paste that, 30 days, granularity, and then just hit enter. Run nine queries. Look, it says executions will take credits. I don't know about any credits. I never put any credits in it. Okay, I don't have to ask. I could have just hit enter. It's easier to hit enter than it was to ask me the question. I'm sorry for being mean, but get on with it. Okay, stop wasting your time. Um, come down below. What are we looking for? Top 100 holders. Okay, I've automatically lo looked at a coin that's been doing well and now found a group of people here and wallets that are holding a lot of money in this coin. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy one, and I'm gonna go to the next best website around, arkhamintelligence.com, I'm gonna hit launch platform. I'm gonna hit paste, and I'm gonna hit enter. And now what you can see is I found a wallet with $461,000 in it. I can see all of the different coins that this individual is holding, GLX, sorry, GLQ, AJX, etc. You can see that the value of this wallet has been going up 
aggressively over time. Down here, it's like 28K. It goes up to like 400K. Okay. Now, as we look down below, you can see the transactions. And I can see that the most recent transaction was 10 months ago, which is no good. So what do I want to do? Well, what I want to do is to keep finding wallets and find a wallet that's actually been doing well recently. And I follow that same process because I'm not lazy, but I can be lazy later. And I find eventually a wallet like this is worth $871,000. It's got a few decent coins and it's been making trades in the last four days. It sold its Pepe coin. In the last four days, it sold its Ethereum. And I'm not saying you blindly copy this, but here you can create an alert. When this whale is making sales and purchases and buying different coins, like GHX, you can see bought recently has made $13,000. You could have bought some of these coins at the right time around the time that they're buying them. You might not know anything about them. So now you can learn about them by using Claude to read the white paper. You can use Luna Crush and everything else to see whether it's Twitter scores improving, whether people are getting on board. You can read about the news on Twitter and see whether there's more going on. Okay. So easy, right? So easy. Now, you can do that. You can do it with lots of different coins and you can continue to do it until you've got a list of like really decent whale wallets. Once you've got a list of whale wallets, set your alerts on Arkham. You can be like, you can name them, be like, you know, people tend to focus. You get like AI whales, you get GameFi whales, you get whales in like, I don't know, like frog coins and dog coins. And you can follow them all and be like meme coins just bought dog with hat or whatever it is. Or soul just does sold this and you could have got in, could have got out. Easy. And piggyback of other people. Now, let's say I come across a coin in this wallet that I want to look at. We've got GHX, Gamer Coin. Okay, could be interesting. Don't know what Gamer Coin is. I'm going to run through all my research, look at the white paper and all that stuff. But before I decide if it's safe or not, I need to just do this. I copy the Ethereum address. I come to bubblemaps.io and I hit paste and I hit it in there. Now, what I can see before I want to invest in this is that one of these wallets here holds 23% of the supply of gamer coin. I can see that there's a bunch of other coins here that are all like linked together. This is something of concern to me because what happens if one person owns like most of the supply of this coin and wants to sell it all off? Then I will get rug pulled out of this. Is this a good coin to be in? Well, this particularly is not necessarily something I want to touch. While maybe I could have made some money, I don't like the idea of this. I can copy this wallet address here. I can go back to Arkham. I can paste the wallet address in here. I can hit enter. I can see that there's 5 million or $5.15 million worth of GHX in here. Not much in terms of Ethereum, a few other things, okay? This is maybe like a deployer wallet or whatever for this. I don't really want to deal with it. Now here's one last check I'll always do on a new coin that maybe I've never heard of. Go across to dexscreener.com, paste in the code associated with the project like this one for graph link down here contracts uh, and once we got that we can literally go through check a few different things now what i want to do on the right hand side is check any potential issues here you can see there's a sell tax of 11 percent horrible why is there a sell tax maybe i don't want to be involved in that so that's really important okay maybe i would have never figured that out i would have bought it and then i would have lost 11 percent of my money on the sell Really, really key information. Uh, also, you can see whether or not there's like a honey pot, you can, whether there's any hidden issues. 99.9% .9 of scams. If you pasted the coin in here, it would have given you like a token sniffer score of like zero. And you never would have made that mistake. Anything you're not sure of, guys, bang the contract address in here. Dex screen it. Uh, cool tool for finding like new launches on Solana and other stuff like that, where you can go for new pairs. But that's an extremely risky thing. Although if you want to go and trade new Solana meme coins, then be my guest. <laughs> then you can go and trade coins like Dick Pick and Pork with Hat and Michael Jackson coin called <laughs> Nose, Soul and lots of others. Okay, brilliant. Okay, if that's your thing, go and fill your boots. On to the next one, coin stats. If you've been invested in crypto for a while and you're investing in crypto on MetaMask, you're using different exchanges because you want access to different coins. Maybe you've got a hardware wallet somewhere. You're probably realizing it's really difficult to keep up to date with where all of your tokens are. What CoinStats does is it allows you to integrate the wallets using API keys, which keeps your funds secure. And this then means that you can access the information on how all of your different cryptos are performing from one centralized location. You can plug in as many of your wallets as you want to be able to monitor all of the information about the different assets you hold, how those assets have been performing in the last few days, weeks, and months, as well 
as NFTs, the transactions you've been performing, and much more. You can also swap crypto, buy different cryptocurrency, and even find out about the news. If you want to connect a platform or portfolio, it works with over 300 different integrated platforms, ranging from Binance and Metamask to Phantom Wallet, Kepler Wallet, everything pretty much you can think of. And even if you can't find it here, you can even add manually, which is what I've been doing for some of my hardware wallets. It's not just limited to wallets, there's also exchanges available and all sorts of other specialized platforms. So you're pretty much guaranteed to be able to connect all of your wallets into this one centralized location. Now guys, if you want to sign up for a CoinStats account, then there's a link down below in the description where you will be able to save 50% on your wallet and also for full transparency i'll also make a small kickback in commission if you sign up through my link but it's a no-brainer guys this is a platform i use every single day and it's literally the first page i turn to when i turn on my computer every morning make sure you use that link guys if you want to save 50 percent now guys i know that's been a whirlwind tour okay and in the future i'll continue to make more videos every video i make whether i'm talking about bitcoin whether i'm talking about the state of this or the state of that I will implement these tools as we go okay? and I will teach you how to become a crypto expert. I'm not just going to feed you all these coins because while you think you might want to know that, you actually don't. If you understand how to find your own, you're going to become the absolute boss in this game. It's really easy. So make sure you are subscribed. Can't urge you enough to subscribe. Hit that like button and I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Bye bye.